This feature is powered by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago at the forefront of energy. You are on the foreshore, the engine roars, and the yellow, red, and blue of Mr. Solo begins its journey to Tobago at the start of the great race. Today in Sport Nation, we catch up with the legendary pilot, the man many consider Mr. Great Race himself, Ken Charles. Trinidad and Tobago, great race. What are your thoughts on its place in our history as a sporting nation as we are about to celebrate our 60th anniversary of independence? I think it has become one of the premier events in the sporting calendar of Trinidad and Tobago. I say and Tobago because in this 50th year running of the great race, we have three boats from Tobago participating in it, in the 60, 70 and 80 mile class. You know, growing up, um, I've always said the name Mr. Ken Charles and Mr. Solo. What are your thoughts on you know, your, yourself and your boat's place in the history of the great race? Well, <laughs> I think I've been in that now for, as I said, the 53rd running. I have participated in it for 51 years. And um, it has become part of my life, we might say. And I look forward to it. However, in this year's running, in the boat will be Darren Marshall who will be throttling, Hayden, my son, driving, and my grandson Joseph who will be the navigator. So it has changed and the crew has changed a little. What makes you continue though? I guess it is the challenge uh, of the elements in trying to beat, beat it and come up in front. But it is not always that way. But the main thing is that um, we enjoyed the sport and we look forward to it every year. You know, one of the things we, uh, we know is that you overcame tragedy and for some persons that might have been a reason to give up, you continued. You know, what, why? You know, some way ask the question, why? Well, I think Sheldon and Curtis were so, so much involved in it. And after a year we said, you know, they would have liked us to continue it, so we continue it in their name, in remembrance of Sheldon and Curtis. So they have inspired us to come back to the sport. Now tell me, um, how do you feel about the growth of the Great Race over the years? Um, what do you see, how do you see its importance now to Trinidad and Tobago as a sporting nation? Well, when you look back at the first year, it was a pleasure boat sort of thing. And once you had a boat, you entered into it. There was no structure as such. However, over the years, we have seen the boats move from pleasure boats into full racing. Now, well, each boat participating in the Great Race this year is a full racing machine. So, and not only has it gone up in speed, but safety. You know, there a lot of emphasis is placed on safety in this sport. As you know, we are now going up to 130 miles an hour. It's an uneven surface, so we must have safety. You have had a number of crews over the years. I know the lead Gino Fusco would have been an integral part, Darren Marshall. Tell me about you know, the, the evolution of Team Solo and also, um, you know, what, are your favorite, what is your favorite victory if you have one? Well, I would say that my favorite victory was in 1985 with Sheldon and Curtis. Uh, we came from behind, behind, and overtook King Sailor and won him by a couple seconds. That was the closest finish there was ever in the Great Race. Most exciting finish. So that would have been my best victory with the both of them, Sheldon and Curtis. 
you have won with your son, um, your grandson, as you mentioned, now is in the boot. How do you feel about you know um, the continuity of the, the Charles name, you know, and do that it's, it's secured for a generation to come in the great race? Well, you could say he was born into it. Mm -hmm. And from a little boy, he was always there on the boat. And he, he was in the boat with us last year. Unfortunately, a, a line burst and took us out. But he has been around the boat for a number of years. And I can see in the next couple of years, he might be either throttling or driving it. So we have some continuity. This feature was powered by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago at the forefront of energy.